go back to sleep. Once upon a time, before I came, you cried and cried and watched TV all day until you were a zombie. But then I zoomed down from heaven through skylights into room. And I was kicking you from the inside. Boom, boom. And then I shot out onto a rug with my eyes wide open. And you cut the cord and said, hello, Jack. sink. Morning, toilet. Good morning, everyone. Okay. It's my birthday. I'm five. I get it. Take your vitamin. It's the last one. Vitamins. Mm-hmm. Is bad tooth hurting? Mm-hmm. But you know, mind over matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. You're right. Hey, do you know what we're gonna do today? What? We are going to bake a birthday cake. A birthday cake? Mm-hmm. Like in TV? Mm-hmm, but for real. No way. <laughs> it's back. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. There you are. Okay, TV off. I'm gonna grow and grow until I'm a giant. Look, Ma, I'm strong as Samson. Yeah, you are. I'm going to be Jack the Giant, giant killer. First out of skylight into space with my dog Lucky and boom, boom, boom between all of the planets. Let's start with some stretch. Great job. Great job. I do like quickly. Switch your legs. track. And this one. Oh, I meant this wall. Did I say this one? I meant this wall. But I actually meant, I meant this wall. But this one. And but this one needs it too. <laughs> Some butter too, look at all that. Butter! Oh yeah, mash that in. Hope we got it! Why don't you do some of that? Can you handle that? Cadabra. Now the candles. We don't have any candles. Mm -mm. No. We set a birthday cake for real. That means candles on fire. Jack. It's okay without the candles. It's still a birthday cake. 
You should ask for candles for a Sunday treat, not dumb jeans. I'm sorry. You know, I have to ask for stuff that we really need. Stuff that he can get easily. But Olmnik gets anything. By magic. Why don't we try your cake? No. Jack, let's try a bite of it. I said no! Next week when I'm six, you better ask for real candles. Next year, you mean? And Edmund tears free out of the bag and swims and swims to the island of Monte Cristo. And he digs up the treasure his friend was telling him about. He buys a big yacht and sails back to France. And when he gets there, he decides to buy the island and call himself the Count and vows to take revenge on all of the people that were mean to him. Can we have more birthday cake? Tomorrow. Just a bite? Will you brush our teeth already? One last story, please. Come on, Jack, it's late, let's go to bed. sun went down and the jungle fire was burning down the tracks came a hobo hiking and he said boys i'm not turning i'm headed for a land that's far away beside the crystal fountain oh come with me go and see the big rock candy mountain in the big rock candy mountain, there's a land that's clear and bright. Here's his jeans. Grape shirt. Way too much. Sure, I got you. Can pairs. What's that? Yeah. Birthday cake. Mm. Mm. You should have told me. I'd have got him a present. There's room, then outer space, with all the TV planets, then heaven. Plant is real, but not trees. Spiders are real, and one time the mosquito that was sucking my blood. But squirrels and dogs are just TV. Except Lucky, he's my dog who might come someday. Monsters are too big to be real, and the sea. TV persons are flat and made of colors. But me and you are real. Well, Nick, I don't know if he's real. 
maybe half. Bad tooth. Mm -hmm. Can I hold it? Wow. would have stolen our food. Mouse can have my food, I'm not hungry. He would have brought in germs, bit us in our sleep. Mouse is my friend, and you splattered him dead. No, I didn't, he's hunky-dory. Are you tricking me? No, Jack, I swear, he is safe at home in the backyard with his ma. What backyard? Mouse lives in a yard and TV. Why don't you make a UFO out of this? Why you didn't tell him Nick was my birthday? Because he's not our friend. He said he'd bring me a present. You're not supposed to be listening to that. You're supposed to be asleep. I never had a present. Well, he didn't mean it. It might be my dog, Lucky. Jack, we can't have a dog. There's not enough room. Space, there's not enough space with the barking and the scratching. Lucky won't scratch, he promises. There is no Lucky. Yes, there is. No, there's not. You made him up in your head. He's not real. I'm sorry. Come here, come here, come here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right, that wasn't nice. Oh, my God. Wow. You say you dealt with your demons.
Where do we go when we're asleep? Right here in room. But dreams. Do we go to into TV for dreaming? Yeah. Yeah. Mm mm. We're never anywhere but here. scream back. I guess they still can't hear us. We'll do even louder, okay? Okay. Yeah. I just wasn't thinking. Well, thinking is not your strong suit. Sorry. I know. Yeah. Why don't you sit down? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So how did he like his truck? Yeah? No boys. <laughs> the vitamins. Ah, uh, it's a waste of money. There's nothing in them. Well, if I had a better diet. Ah, oh, fuck, here we go again. Maybe if you could stop complaining and be a little grateful. <sighs> Thank you. God, I fucking put my teeth sometimes. Thank you for everything. You just have no idea about the world of today. No. No. Who pays the power bill? Who pays for everything? You. Mm-hmm. And how do you think I'm going to be able to keep doing that? What do you mean? Nothing, I don't... No, but what does that mean? Six months. I've been laid off. Six months. Well, have you had to worry your little head? What are you no. going to do about it? Are you looking for a job? There are no fucking jobs! Jesus! Hey there. He's asleep. I don't think so. Do you keep him in the closet all day? As well as all night? What's the little freak up two heads or something? Hey. Hey. 
Didn't your mama ever teach you any manners, young lady? Sonny. Get away from him! Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Quit the noise! Quit the noise! Quit the noise! You wanna breathe? Yeah? You wanna breathe? Hey, shut the fuck up. Don't touch him! Fuck. You ever touch me like that again? You ever grab me like that? I will fucking kill you. You understand that? Don't touch him. Yeah, don't you forget where you got him. He cut the power. For you see so many out of the way things had happened lately that Alice lately. lately that Alice had begun to think that very few things indeed were really impossible. There seemed to be no use in waiting by the little door. Mom? Hey, Jack, do you remember Mouse? You know where he is? Hmm. 
I do. He's on the other side of this wall. What other side? Jack, there's two sides to everything. Not an octagon. Yeah, but... An octagon has eight sides. But a wall, okay? A wall's like this. See, and we're on the inside. A mouse is on the outside. In outer space? No, in the world. It's much closer than outer space. I can't see the outside side. Listen, I know that I told you something else before, but you were much younger. I didn't think that you could understand, but now you're so old, you're so smart, I know that you can get this. Where do you think that old Nick gets our food? From TV by magic. There is no magic. What you see on TV, those are pictures of real things, of real people, it's real stuff. Dora is real for real? No, that's a drawing. Dora is a drawing. The other people have faces like us. Those are pictures of real things. And all the other stuff you see on there, that's real too. That's real oceans, real trees, real cats, dogs. No way! What would they all fit? They just do. They just fit. They just fit out in the world. Jack, come on. You're so smart. I know that you've been wondering about this. Can I have something else to eat? There's a leaf. Do you see that? Where? Look. I don't see a leaf. Come here. I want you to see. I'm gonna have a closer look. You see that? See? Dumbo, Ma, that's not leaf. Leaves are green. Yeah, on trees, but then they fall and they rot like salad in the Where's fridge. Where's all the stuff you said? Trees and dogs and cats and grass? We can't see it from here because Skylight looks upwards instead of sideways. You're just tricking me. No, I'm not. Liar, liar, pants on fire! Jack, I couldn't explain it before because you were too small. You were too small to understand, so I had to make up a story. But, but now I'm doing the opposite, okay? I'm doing the opposite of lying. I am unlying because you're five now. You're five and you're old enough to understand what the world is. You have to understand. You have to understand. We can't keep living like this. You need to help me. I want to be four again. Do you remember how... Do you remember how Alice wasn't always in Wonderland? She fell down, 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 deep in a hole. Right, well, I wasn't always in room. I'm like Alice. I was a little girl named Joy. Nah. And, and I lived in a house with my mom and my dad. You would call them Grandma and Grandpa. What? How? A house. It was in the world. And there was a backyard, and we had a hammock. And we would swing in the hammock, and we would eat ice cream. A TV house? No, Jack, a real house, not TV. Are you even listening to me? When I was a little older, when I was 17, I was walking home from Where school. Where was I? You were still up in heaven. But there was a guy, he pretended that his dog was what sick. What guy? Old Nick. We call him Old Nick. I don't know what his real name is. But he pretended his dog was sick. What's the dog's name? Jack, there wasn't a dog. He was trying to trick me, OK? There wasn't a dog. Old Nick stole me. I want a different story. No, this is the story that you get. He put me in his garden shed. Here, room is the shed. He's locked the door. He's the only one that knows the code. You know, the secret numbers that open the door? He's the only one that knows, and I've been locked in here for seven years. I've been in here for seven years. Do you understand? This story's boring! Jack, the world is so big. It's so big, you wouldn't even believe it. And the room is just one stinky part of it. Room's not stinky, only when you do a fart. God, hey.
again. Ma. 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 Big snakes are our longest friend and fanciest. Melted his spoon's the best to eat with because he's a more blobbier. Labyrinth is the twistiest. And she hides things so I don't know where they are. Toilet's the best at disappearing poo. Lamp's the brightest, except when the power's cut. You're the best at reading and songs and lots, except if you're having a gone day. I'm the best at drawing and jumping and growing and nearly everything. Are turtles real? Yeah, they're totally real. I had a turtle as a pet. Crocodiles and sharks? Yeah, they're all real. Real? Sort of. So, these are real people, but they're playing dress up. They're pretending that they're people from hundreds of years ago. Just TV. You're getting it. <laughs> when old Nick comes back, I'm going to kick him in the butt. Let me tell you something. You know, one time I tried to kick old Nick in the butt. I hid behind the door and I was holding the lid from the toilet tank. There used to be a lid on it. It was the heaviest thing in room. When he came in, I smashed it on his head, but I messed up. He shoved the door closed and he grabbed me by the wrist. That's why it's sore now. 
We could wait till he's asleep and kill him dead. Yeah, we could, but then what? We'd run out of food, and we don't know the code to the door. Hey, the grandma and the grandpa could come. Jack, they don't know where we are. The room's not on any map. Jack, listen to me. Now we've got a chance. We nearly missed it, but we've got our chance. So you're gonna help me. You're gonna help me trick old Nick. I don't get it. I'm gonna make your face so hot that old Nick will have to take you to the hospital in his truck, and then when you get there, you're gonna say to the doctors, help, police. Well, maybe next year when I'm six. Tonight. Has to be tonight, Jack. Tell old Nick that because of the power cut, you got so cold that you got a fever. Tomorrow, please. No, I'm your ma. So sometimes I have to pick for the both of us. Ow! It's okay. It's okay. You gotta stay floppy, okay? Stay floppy and you're not gonna move or say a word. You're too weak, okay? I just gotta make you smell sick. Good, that's good. Show me how, show me how you're gonna pull the note out of your pocket. Show me the note. Come on. When you're at the hospital. Show me. What's this? What's that? Oh. You see? You got a bit of me all the time. Okay, you put it back in your pocket. And you got your strong too. Okay? I'm scared. I know. Come on. There you are. You know the drill. Now peep till the door shut. Sorry. Just... Jack's sick. It was so cold. Well, you brought that on yourself. Well, I couldn't keep him warm, and now he's burning up. Give him some of those painkillers. I tried, but he just keeps puking them back up. Don't. Don't do that. Stay still. Jesus, he's on fire. Okay, well, I'll get him something stronger. But he, he's five. He, he's dehydrated. He has a fever. He could go into convulsions at any Shut day. up. He Let me think. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll get him some tomorrow night. Don't he? You need to take him to the ER right now. Stop he can't it. wait until tomorrow night. Yeah. Please, I'm begging you. Do you remember how Edmund pulls his friend out of the bag and hides him? And then
then he gets in the bag and he lays in there really still until the guards come. So that's what you're gonna do. You see how that's even trickier than pretending to be sick because you're gonna play dead? Holding over. I don't want to be dead. You're just pretending to be dead. Hey, Steph. We're going to roll you up and run so that old Nick won't see you, won't see that you're alive inside. Old Nick's going to pick you up like this. Say, Steph, Steph, Steph. And, and you're not going to be wobbly and floppy this time. You're going to be real stiff, like a, like a robot. I'm going to shake like that. This is what it'll feel like. And that's when you know that old Nick's driving. That means he's busy, and so it's time for you to roll. And you're not going to make a sound. And I'm going to be there in your head talking to you the whole time. Roll, roll, roll. Now wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, get yourself out. Come on, Jack. My And old Nick's going to come, and he's going to pick you up in the rug, and he's going to take you outside. And he's going to put you in his truck. And he's going to find a place to, to lay you down. No. It'll be okay, though, because you're going to wiggle out, and you're going to run away. Head over here. Like this. OK, if there was too many turns that time, we'll shorten the road. stop sign when the truck rolls to a stop and you're gonna shout when you see somebody you say my ma is joy newsom who's somebody anybody it's the first person that you see an actual real life person mm-hmm. what for nick unwraps me he won't you got a bad tooth? He's in here so I don't lose him. <laughs> you are amazing. You're gonna love it. What? The world. The house with the hammock. And grandma and grandpa. And you? Stay stiff. Sorry, Chuck. Stay stiff. You can do this. Antibiotics. What are you doing? He got worse in the night. He didn't wake up. Jeez. Poor girl. I, I guess it must have been pretty serious. You killed my baby. Okay, take it easy. Okay, let me have a look. Don't touch him! Okay. Are you sure? Am I sure? Okay, well, you can't stay here, you know. No. Where are you going to take him? I don't know. I'm thinking, um... Somewhere nice. It can't be here. I'll feel him. Okay. Somewhere with trees. Trees, sure, yeah. I want you to swear to me you won't even lay your filthy eyes on him. Swear to me that you won't look at him! I swear. 
Okay, well, it's about an hour until dark. No! I can't bear it. All right. Jump, run, somebody.
I'm really sorry, man. She just came out of nowhere. I'm, hey, hey! I'm really sorry. Is your little girl okay? It's under control. Okay. Has she been in some kind of accident? Would you like me to phone someone? I'll take care of it. How, what's that, what's that you got there, honey? Come on. Is that for me? Why don't you just mind your own business? Mom! I'm calling Help the cops, me! mister. Hey, whoa, hey, hey. Come here, sit, sit down. Hi, honey. <laughs> Says Boomer, he's not gonna hurt you. He's all done now, I'm gonna call somebody. Mr. Parker, can you tell me your name? Hi. Can you say that a little louder for me? Okay. So, um, do you have another name? Jack? Okay, it's okay. Can you tell me how old you are? I'm five. Five? That's great, okay. Now, uh, can you tell me where you live? Why don't we call child services? Do you have a mom, Jack? Okay, good. Does she have another name? I can't remember. Um, where's Ma right now? Room. What room? Jack, where's this room? That guy with the truck, is that your dad? Is that Ma's boyfriend? Do you know him? What's that, Jack? A bit of Ma. That's okay, buddy. That's good. Thank you, Jack. That's good. Did real good, okay? Did good. So, Jack, anything you recognize, buddy? Jack, anything? Your room, Jack. What's outside the room? Space. No. The world. You think the kid's on something? Okay, listen. When you step out the door. No, no, you don't. We don't know how to open the door. My money's on some kind of cult. The tooth, the long hair. Is there daylight in your room? Okay, good. How many windows? Zero. Well, then how does the sun come in? Through skylight. Skylight? Okay, excellent. So you live in a house with a skylight? No, it's not a house. Okay. It's a... Yeah? It's a... Uh, you get more out of him after he's had Tom, some Tom, give sleep. it a second. It's a shed. A shed? Jack, a shed? Okay, good boy. Yeah, it's a needle in a haystack. Okay, listen to me. What made you jump out the truck, Jack? Ma said in my head. Okay, what exactly did she say? Jump when it slows it down, but I couldn't. All right, so what did you do? What did you do? The third time I got banged. The third time of what, Jack? Third slow. Everything went sideways. And then it stopped, and then it jumped. I got it. And... I got it, buddy, I got it. 5409 call. Dispatch, listen carefully. We have a rough location. All right, uh, south on Elm. 
three stop signs past the junction with beach. Look for a garden shed with a skylight. Also check the most recent satellite images for a red pickup in the driveway. 5409 onward. Unbelievable. 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 Settle in. Hey, Go to bed. Yeah. They'll take us somewhere to sleep soon. No. But bed. In room.
good morning, sleepyhead. I was waiting so long for you to wake up, I fell asleep again. Are we in another planet? Mm-mm. Same one, just a different spot. This one is a bedroom in a hospital. Are we sick for real or pretend? We're not sick. We're the opposite of sick. How long are we staying? Not long. Grandma saw us last night, and she's going to get us once they say we're okay. And Grandpa? He was away for work, but he's on a plane coming back home. I wanted the bed before. I'm sorry. Yeah? It was by accident. It's okay. <gasps> Hello? Yeah. Just now. Uh, yeah, that would be great. Can you bring it in 20 minutes? Okay, thank you. Step out. Okay. Mom, that's waste. We'll get you new ones. For Sunday treat? There will be so many treats, and not just on Sunday. Mo, where's the bath? There's a shower. It's splashier. Jack, come here. Mom, will he find us? No. He will never find us. Come on. Bath before bed, that's the rule. There are no rules, Jack. We can do what we like. Uh, uh. Are you hurting? No. You want to come in? <laughs> Ma, the door is ticking. Hey, it's okay. Good morning. Hi. Hey, it's okay. Come on. So I hear we're all awake now? Yeah. Just put it right there. It's okay, Jack. Hi, Jack. How you doing? My name's Dr. Mattel, and you were asleep when I showed up this morning. You hungry? Do you want some breakfast? Yeah, you must be starved. I'm gonna bring you some breakfast. Check out what we got. It's pancakes and fruit. Mmm. Let's check it out. Really good. Really, really good. You want to try it? It goes with syrup too. Everything's you looking try good. Syrup. It's very sweet. So, I brought you some goodies. Sunglasses. Okay. That'll make you more comfortable if you need to go outside. And um, sunscreen. That's for him mainly. This is important. That's that's for Jack. Is that really necessary? Well. There's a lot of germs in the air that he still needs to get used to. And uh, my colleague prescribed this for your pain, for your wrist, until they can get you set up for surgery. And that's to help you sleep. Just take it if you need it. OK. Thank you. Come on, Jack. Let's try some pancake, huh? So have you had a chance to think about what we discussed this morning? Yeah, I thought I did think about it. Thank you, but I, I really want to go home. Okay. You know my view. Yeah. I mean, with everything you two have experienced, and uh, just to assess Jack properly. But uh, nothing happened to Jack. No, no, no. I understand. I He's going to be okay, right? The most important thing you did was get him out while he's still plastic. What's that, Jack? He says that he's... he's real. He's not plastic. Well, you got me there, Jack. You're real. And you're very brave. 
Um, yeah, let's talk about this later. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just got her wait any longer. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Thanks for saving our little girl. I've been in the world 37 hours. I've seen pancakes and the stairs and birds and windows and hundreds of cars and clouds and police and doctors and grandma and grandpa. But Ma says they don't live together in the hammock house anymore. Grandma lives there with her friend Leo now and grandpa lives far away. I've seen persons with different faces and bigness and smells talking all together. The world's like all TV planets, on at the same time. So I don't know which way to look and listen. There's doors and more doors. And behind all the doors, there's another inside and another outside. And things happen, happen, happen. It never stops. Plus, the world's always changing brightness and hotness. And there's invisible germs floating everywhere. When I was small, I only knew small things. But now I'm five, I know everything. Screened in pretty well, and we've taken care where necessary. So if you keep the front drapes closed, home you'll now. complete privacy. Okay. We'll be outside if you need anything. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Your father's still talking to the lawyer. Are you sure that? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's check out downstairs. You can do it. Want to weigh in? Oh, that's good. Come on. One step at a time. Okay. One more. Hello. Good. Welcome home, honey. Hi. I'm very, very happy to see you. Hi, Jack. You too. This is Leo. Hey there, sport. Leo's been our friend since your mom was little. Jack. Jack. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right, sweetie. Let's just, it's okay. Come on in. Jack. Ah. So, uh, um, what can I get you? Yeah. Anyone hungry? We have everything. Yeah, people have been so kind. Um, hey, Jack, would you like something to drink? Jack, can I ask you a question? Do you want something? You hungry? Juice. Yeah, he would like some juice. Please. Okay. Come right up. Thank you. What did I'm you fine. Okay. Okay. Hey, you know when your grandma asks you a question? You can answer her. You don't need to say everything to me, okay? Just leave it on answer. Mom, would you watch me down? What are those? Those are toys and gifts for you. For people that are very happy that we go home safe. What people? Do you have a first mail for me? Just people.
Where is it at? Where'd you get this? Down there. Just in case. Do you have a dog? Oh, <laughs> it's Leo's dog, Seamus. <laughs> He's on furlough at the moment. With a pal of mine out of town. Living the country life. Well, you know, people at the hospital said to avoid pets until your immunity's back up. There's so much to what? The lawyer said they're expecting a plea, but we can't rule out a trial. He wanted to get into everything. I said, not today. Good. I made it clear there'd be no further contact, no statements to respect our family. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm... Can I get you a drink, Bob? Thank you. <laughs> Scotch, if you have, whatever you have. Sure. Well, sweetie, is there anything you'd like? Or like to do? Or... You got it. You got it. Go ahead. Your mom's room, Jack. Hey. Uh, maybe tomorrow we can cut that hair. What do you say, Jack? But, but. That's true. He says that's where his strong is. You rest, huh? We'll, we'll see you downstairs. We'll be downstairs, okay? Okay. Mmm. Okay. It's really good, Nancy. You wanna try some? No. It's apples. You like apples? How about some ice cream, Jack? Here you go. What do you say? Thank you. No, you can say it louder than that. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you for being polite. Neil? Good. <sighs> Ice cream hurts. You got a brain freeze there, Jack. I think I'll turn in. <clears throat> Is there something wrong? Mm -mm. Why are you in such a hurry? It's been a big day. You haven't said one word to Jack. Joy. Joy. Um, we don't have to talk about this now. Yes, we do, Dad. Look at him. Dad. Robert. Please. Dad. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't. Right. Robert, Joy, Put Joy. Put your spoon down. Let's go. Hey, Joy, you're going to bed. No, Joy, don't. Joy! Robert. play with some of those toys? Oh. You know, 
who that is? This, that's you. Yeah, that's me. And Stacy Benton, and Heather Noel, and Laura Sullivan. We were on a relay team. I was the anchor. I was really fast. We did track. Real track? <laughs> on a field. You know what happened to them? No. Exactly. Nothing. They just lived their life and nothing happened. Jack, get away from the window. Jack? Right, wonderful. So, the other thing that we need to discuss is some sort of media strategy. No, I'm, we're not ready for talking like that, not yet. So. Okay. Um, there's going to be expenses moving forward, and a primetime interview, just one primetime interview, means a lot of money. This is where we live now, Jack. information as I can give you. I'm sure Nancy knows more. I'll get her to call you. She gets in. Thanks. Thanks again. Hungry. Oh, I know. Got something in the kitchen, I think. Oh, yes. I've got something very tasty in the kitchen, I think. Let me see what's here. Mm -hmm. Hello. I didn't know you were up. Mm-hmm. Good. Am I right? I like this kind too. Kind of sweet, but it's pretty good. You really have to. I do. Name Seamus. We're very small. Not very smart. You should meet him sometime. He'll shake your hand. I 
I had a dog once named Lucky, mm -hmm. but he wasn't real. Yeah. He lived in a room. So we got some fluffy clouds in the sky. Yeah. Looks like a nice day. Which one of these guys is you? That guy? Mm -hmm. And who's this? What is that? It's a whale. This guy sees blood under the eyes, so he wants to go dive in there and help too. Oh, that's okay. No, don't worry about it. Let it rest. I'm almost done here. Okay. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this masterpiece turns out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Come down. Jack, can you go downstairs, please? Now. Jack! Come here. Look, you have all these toys. I don't want to. Any kid would be so happy to have these, and you, you barely even touched them. Try your Lego. See these? Put these together, like this. You see how I'm doing it? Try it. Is it fun? Jack, can you say something? Jack! He needs to play with something real. I'm worried about him being on the phone. He's doing fine. Well. I don't give him my phone, so I'd appreciate it if you didn't give him yours. Okay, well, great. I just want him to connect with something. Joy. Joy. He's really doing fine. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm supposed to be happy. Need to rest, okay? No, I don't. I don't need that, to rest. That's what the doctor that said. is not what the doctor said. You don't know what he said because it was a confidential conversation, and you don't know what he said. All right, all right. All right. I feel like you're impossible to talk to right now. Well, sorry. Well, no, no, you're not sorry. Yeah, I'm not sorry. You have no idea what's going on in my head. Yeah, well, try me. I have asked you. And then what? Then every time you look at me, that's all that you see. When I look at you, Joy, I will see my daughter. You don't need me. You've been doing just fine without me. Oh. How can you say that, huh? Do you think that you were the only one whose life was destroyed? Actually, that's exactly what I think. Yeah, how would you feel if somebody took Jack away from you? Oh, shut up! Go easy. Look at him! You should be thinking about him! Oh, don't you tell me how to look after my son. I'm sorry that I'm not nice anymore. You know what, maybe if your voice saying be nice hadn't been in my head, then maybe I wouldn't have helped the guy with the fucking sick dog. Stay there, Jack. So what are we thinking for the walk and talk? And I want you to know that you guide this interview, okay? So what you feel comfortable with, you talk about. And when you don't, you just say, not comfortable, and we move on to another question. Okay. And I'm going to, you know. My lawyer said, said that it's nice. You're good.
Did you ever think you would see this house again? I hoped you hoped, yes. I must have guessed that I could see it every time. Sure, I was here. And, and did you think about incidents when you were trying? It's time to go downstairs, Jack. I remember, you remember what your mom said? So many silly things. Jokes with friends. Or... Sure. <laughs> it can get hot, can it? Can oh, yeah. That? Yeah. The lights. The lights will get very warm. Just let me get this out of the way. Listening to you, I'm sure you must have felt at times as if God had deserted you. In those very black moments. Yeah. Did you consider taking your own life just to escape? I'm getting the feeling my clients are. Okay, I'm Can okay. Can give her a minute, please? Sure. I'm fine. Can I just have a tissue? Of course. Can we get her a tissue, please? <clears throat> there you go. Have to talk about it. I'm sure. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. Nobody's expecting you to be, you know, the, the pillar of strength. You can <laughs> cry. You know, why don't we just go on to the next question? Would that be okay? Do you want to put your tissue maybe under your chair? Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. That's not on my nose. Let's see? Good. Okay. So, when Jack came along, was it different for you then? Um, when Jack came, everything was different. He was so beautiful. And I just knew that I had to keep him safe. Of course. Of course. When he's older, will you tell Jack about his father? Jack's not his. He's not his? So are you saying that there were other men? No. <laughs> no. Um, a father is... A man who loves his child. Of course. That's so true in a very real sense, but the... the biological relationship... But that's, that's not a relationship. Jack is... is nobody's but mine. When he was born, did it... did it ever occur to you to ask your captor to take Jack away. Away? Well, to take him to a hospital, say, leave him there where he could be found. Why, why would I do that? So Jack could be free. Now, this is the ultimate sacrifice, and I understand that. But did you think about him having a normal childhood? But he had me of course he did but was that the best thing for him
Jack. Come on. Phone's for you. Say hello. Hello. Jack, are you there? Ma? How are you doing? Come back. I, I can't just yet. I, 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 Come back now. I'll be there soon. I just have to be here. It's just a little while longer. I pick. I, I pick for I, both I'm of us. Back. There's so much of place in the world. There's less time because the time has to be spread extra thin over all the places, like butter. So all the persons say, hurry up, let's get going, pick up the pace, finish up now. Ma was in a hurry to go boing up to heaven, but she forgot me. Dumbo, Ma. So the aliens threw her back down, crash, and broke her. You good? Can you help me carry a bag of groceries? Yep. Is that okay? Yep. Okay, cool. Thank you. It's light. All right. We've been shopping. Yes, we have. <laughs> We're making cupcakes. Oh, yum. <laughs> have a good day. See you. Okay, come on. Good at that. I did before in room. Mm, did wow. 
What else did you do there? Lots of stuff. Sometimes I miss it. Wasn't it awfully small? Uh-uh. It went every direction, all the way to the end. It never finished. And Ma was always there. But it was smaller in wardrobe. Hmm? What did you do in wardrobe? Sleep. But old Nick came. I want to see Ma. Yeah, I know. She's, um, she just needs to be on her own for a little while. Jack? Someone here would like to meet you. Let's go see. Jack? Meet Seamus. Would you like to pet him? There he goes, shaking again. Makes him feel good. Makes him feel good? Yep, makes him feel good. You should try that. He's moving. Grandma? Yes? I need the scissors. What for? For cutting my hair. Do you really want to do that? I want to send it to Ma. How come? She needs my strong more than me, so I want to send it to her. Or you could take it to her. I could help you if you'd like. Yes, please. Do this right. I have been wanting to cut that hair for a very long time. Come on. I used to cut your mother's hair all the time. And your grandpa's. I hope I still got it. You think this will work? Can my strong be her strong too? Oh, of course it can. We all help each other stay strong. No one is strong alone. You and your mom, you help each other through, don't you? Yep. Hmm? You and me, you and Leo, Leo and me, we all have the same strong. I guess we do. All righty. Are you ready? Steady. What do you think? Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't get soup in my eye. No, there's a towel right there if you need. And my mouth. My mouth, too. Yeah. This is the best part. Does <laughs> it feel good? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, let's see. There. I love 
love you, Grandma. I love you too, Jack. I'm sorry, Jack. That's okay. Don't do it again. I promise. Are you better now? Yeah, I'm starting to be. <laughs> hey, Jack. Yeah? Your grandma brought this to me. I knew that I could get better. <laughs> you saved me. Again. Can I? No. There's no more left, sorry. Okay. I'm not a good enough ma. For, I didn't even know about the world. And now me and Ma are going to live in it forever and ever until we're dead. This is a street in a city in a country called America on the Earth. That's a blue and green planet, always spinning, so I don't know why we don't fall off. Then there's outer space, and nobody knows where is heaven. Ma and I have decided that because we don't know what we like, we get to try everything. <laughs> There are so many things out here, and sometimes it's scary, but that's okay, because it's still just you and me. Can we go back? 
back to room. Jack. Just for a visit. This room? Yeah. Has it gotten shrinked? Where is everything? Taken for evidence. Proof that we were here. Because doors open. What? It can't really be a room if doors open. Do you want me to close it? Nah. Jack, can we go? By chair number one, by chair number two, by table, by wardrobe, by sink. Bye bye skylight. I'll say bye-bye to room. <laughs>